Hi, and welcome back to Chew in the Kitchen. A lot of the kids are back in school and I have the perfect snack for them. Homemade soft pretzels. I had a great week this week. I had a, my fan, Dr. Vu Kong, send me some goodies with this bag from High Point Dentistry. He's making my smile look good. All right, to start, we're gonna go ahead and warm up two cups of milk for a minute and a half in the microwave. Now that my milk is warm, I'm gonna add it into my mixer. I'm using my KitchenAid mixer again. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in yeast, two packets worth. I'm gonna mix it until the yeast is dissolved. And then I'm gonna let it rest for five minutes. All right, so it's been five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some other uh, ingredients. So I'm going to start off with some flour. This is one cup of flour and I'm just going to slowly add that on in. And then I'm going to add in brown sugar, butter, and then some salt. And I'm gonna let that blend up until it's nicely blended. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach my dough hook at this time. And then I'm gonna add my three and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna put this on slow and slowly add in my flour. What you want is for your dough to form a bit of a ball and for it to pull away from the sides of the bowl. I have an extra half a cup of flour here just in case I need some additional flour. Now that my dough is formed, you can see it's uh, separated from the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my machine and I'm gonna place it in a bowl, which I'm gonna cover with plastic wrap. I'm gonna let this ball sit for approximately one hour or until the dough doubles in size. You wanna keep it out in a warm place and make sure you have your plastic wrap on pretty tight. All right, I just got my dough out and I have it on this nice uh, floured surface. I'm gonna go ahead and knead it out just a little bit so I can get all the air out of the dough. So I've cut my dough into 12 equal pieces. Um, I know I'm not gonna eat 12 pretzels, so I'm gonna go ahead and freeze um, these pieces of dough that I don't want. I've set my oven to 450 degrees, and I'm just waiting for it to heat up. Here's a little bit of a piece from that. I'm gonna just go ahead and take it, and I'm gonna start forming it into a little bit of a uh, snake or a rope. You just kind of move it side to side, just keep rolling it back and forth until you kind of get it to the length that you'd like it to be. So I went ahead and I put in three cups of water and one third cup of baking soda and I'm gonna go ahead and fully submerge my dough into that. Now, um, by putting it in the baking soda, that's gonna give you that nice brown texture that you get from a pretzel. You're gonna place your pretzel and this is where you're gonna form it. You're gonna twist it together. And this is where Carl says he's got the moves. Now we're gonna go ahead and place it in our already preheated oven at 450 degrees for 10 minutes. And we'll check on it in a few minutes. So I just got my pretzels out of the oven and now I'm gonna go ahead and make them a good pretzel. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in butter on both sides. Whoops. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt. Now that looks like a delicious pretzel. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my snack now. Please post a comment below to tell me what your favorite snack was when you used to come home from school. You can support my channel by hitting the subscribe button below and you can log in using any Gmail account. Please follow me on Instagram at Chew in the Kitchen. See you next week.
Hey y'all, you wanna know what's for dinner next week? Here's a hint.